Hi, everybody. I'm Mel Dore, the Aloha Shirt Psychic, and I got Kevin Chandler in the house from Kevin's Loving Vibrations Tarot. Hey, Mel. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> nice to finally uh, be back since your trip. So, yeah, Croatia was amazing. It was hot, but it was amazing. <laughs> Speaking of trips, um, I have this trip coming uh next july i think it's july the 7th through the 16th to uganda and one day we'll go uh in the in in the jungle i don't know jungle woods whatever in the forest yeah, yeah. <laughs> chimpanzees one day on the savanna to see uh the lions and elephants one day on the river to see the hippos and the last day we hike anywhere in the jungle from two to five hours to see the mountain gorillas. Uh, and the license fees and everything that they collect uh, actually goes to help the gorillas. And they're making a comeback because they were almost extinct. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Uh, and that's the last day. And they track the gorillas so they know where they are. So we're guaranteed to see them. We get to spend an hour with them. Can't come within six feet. Uh, now, they're pretty close exactly mm -hmm. and this is a level five tour there are different activity levels one being kind of slothy <laughs> there is a such mm -hmm. five being pretty high level yeah uh, if anybody is interested in this i've only got room for 20 people 20 people uh 10 rooms one day we glamp so it's like a vinyl tent but it's got you know it's really neat it's got hot and cold running water and a bathroom and all that's gonna be really amazing uh, you can call my office, 847-590-5411. So again, uh, if you're in really decent physical shape, because you have to do a lot of walking, mm. uh, like when we go to see the chimps, I think that's a two to four hour hike. One day we go to, um, uh, we'll stay in four different hotels. One's in the treetops, could be really neat. That'd be cool. Uh, one day we go to a school to see the kids and how they learn. Uh, and this is this price is going to be all inclusive. It's seventy four hundred dollars. That includes round trip airfare from anywhere within the continental United States and includes all license fees, all food, uh, two complimentary beverages with every meal. Uh, so day one, will, uh, well, it's an 11 hour flight from O'Hare. Mm. So. Um, we arrive in Kampala uh, to Entebbe National International Airport. We stay in, in the hotel there. Day three, we we have a tour of Kampala, and we have a cultural visit. We go to a local, we visit the local school. Um, we have a tour of Kampala. Day four, we go to the Kampala uh, Kabali Forest. Um, let's see here. It's the primate capital of the world. Day mm -hmm. five, we go chimp trekking, chimpanzee trekking in the Kabali Forest and Bogoti wetlands. It's a hike. And I think, you know, we'll see all kinds of baboons, all kinds of elephant, buffalo, leopard, lion. So the chimpanzee trek is like two to four hours in the depth of the rainforest. Mm -hmm. Get to look at the vegetation and all of that. Uh, we'll see chimps in their, in their natural habitat. So that's kind of cool. Day six is Queen Elizabeth National Park. Uh, so we see the 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 mountains is going to be great, and we'll have a game drive in the park. We'll see elephants, buffalo, lions, all kinds of stuff. We'll get up really early. Uh, day seven, Queen Elizabeth National Park. That'll be a game drive, and we'll see the lions at hunt. Mm. Be neat, uh, and the hyenas before they go into the woods. And this is like, this This is st the start of dry season. So all the animals come out to drink water. Mm, yeah. Um, we really need, the temperature does not get hot there. It's gonna be around probably 70 is the hottest at this time of year at June the 7th of next year. Uh, you should take malaria medication, but uh, I, I don't know the, if there's any shot requirements, but we'll find that out. Okay, so day seven. Day eight, the windy impenetrable forest. It's a um, so we have a another game drive. Uh, <clears throat> and half the world's endangered mountain gorillas live in the windy forest. Uh, let's see. 
let's we'll see we'll visit the cultural communities there it's going to be fun uh and we'll meet with the tribe a local tribe and we'll they'll share their stories with us and their tribal dance it's going to be really neat and then day nine um is when we go into the windy national gorilla park gorilla trek and we hike anywhere from two to five hours into the rainforest to see the gorillas mm. and, uh, we're you're guaranteed to see them and the people that i've talked to that have done this have all said it was the absolute trip of a lifetime and so you know it's kind of well, 7400 is really not bad considering round trip airfare and considering what right. are nowadays so it's really cool so call my office gonna be a, yep go ahead i was going to say it's going to be a wonderful trip and kevin sees me pretty much selling it out so yeah <laughs> i've got room for eight people left so uh you can call my office 847-590-5411 847-590-5411 uh, you have to have a passport and so come with us <laughs> all right i had to get that out of the way yeah, I think you're gonna have a wonderful time. It does sound like it would be a, a trip of a lifetime. So, uh, the people that I that I talked to, they, you know, when they said they thought they would never get there to see the gorillas, but yet, yeah, uh, they all said they would do it again. So, yeah, those, you know, and I it think it's great to reconnect with the planet and reconnect with nature that way. And so it's like really gonna be spiritual, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can just imagine like trekking in the in, like the rainforest is how beautiful it would be. That's why I call them psychic adventure tours. Like Croatia, I did one little talk for about 20 minutes, but everything was like, you know, mm -hmm. the, so with the tours and everything regimented, the time was regimented. But, you know, it's funny in the beginning, everybody was uptight and nervous. But by the second or third day, everybody's relaxed. We put mm -hmm. all the differences aside. And everybody just let go and have fun. It was amazing to see the transformation. And that's why I call them psychic adventures because you see people transform. Mm. If it just for that Love second that. time, and it's really cool. So, yeah. Everybody, I'm excited. <laughs> so, I'm glad you see it selling. So, <laughs> yeah. And I, I think you're going to have a wonderful time there. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we ready to get started? Yeah. Okay. Lots going on, right? Kevin's dog Finn got neutered this morning, so everybody send Mr. Finn healing energy. Mm -hmm. Lucky he'll be he's rash. all good. Lucky's got a little rash, so send her rash, so send her healing energy. Uh, and I'm excited with Africa because my great niece is coming. It's going to be so sweet. nice. Yeah. Okay. Put that aside. <laughs> Boogie, shall we? All right, let's go. All right. Well, Trump's mouth got him in trouble again, you all. <laughs> uh, you know, going on about, oh, it was a, a left wing thing and it was unfair. And it's like a third world country and it's a dictatorship. You know, everything he's saying is everything he did. Mm -hmm. he blames everybody else. And now, you know, there's a certain news channel whose name I won't mention who, oh my God, they're having a field day. And then right. Jean Perot or whatever her name is she's a judge i'm a rocket scientist <laughs> um, but now because trump had lied about the reason for the warrant uh and he won't re he didn't want to release the warrant yeah because it'll show what you know what was going right. on now mary garland called his bluff and said that he's going to ask the courts to release the document in the matter of public interest so the warrant yeah i love it <laughs> now i guess that raises a question will it indeed be made public i know the answer mm -hmm. i say the answer is yes um, yeah I'm, I'm feeling a yes too and then what's donald going to say about that oh they politicized it when they did that blah 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 blah, blah. i'm just getting that you know I, I think that trump really underestimates garland um because i see garland um I mean, obviously, he wouldn't have done the search warrant if he didn't have. I just feel with that a whole bunch of urgency, like, and I do think it had to do with very highly sensitive classified information that he took. Um, but, um, but yeah, like, he really under uh, underestimated him because I just feel Garland is so strategic. Uh, strategic. My guys are showing me like a chessboard. Like he's like, all right, make your move. You know, I'm coming for you. 
that's what I've been saying all along. Mm -hmm. He's working behind closed doors, but I don't think those, this, well, it wasn't really a raid. Somebody corrected me. It was an execution of a warrant. Mm -hmm. And, oh, they opened my safe and they didn't tell me they were coming. <laughs> well, they did tell the Secret Service. So what are they going to do? Hey, Donald, it's the DOJ, the FBI. Tomorrow we're going to be executing a search warrant at your house at 2 o'clock. Well, I wasn't right. even there. Donald, you don't have to be there when they execute a search warrant, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, so he could have flushed all those documents down his toilet. <laughs> well, you know, it's easy. Just get a plumber to clean them out. Right. <laughs> um. But I don't think this had anything to do with January 6th. Of course, they'll probably find some incri incriminating evidence on that. But I think it had to do with uh, some some stuff Mueller looked into. It has to do with Russia. It had to do with Russia. Yes, Absolutely. I got that very strongly. And I wrote that down, Russia's secrets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he gave Russia a lot of our secrets. And it's going to bite him. Are you picking up to uh... I'm sorry? Are you picking up? Because I feel like there was somebody that tipped off the, um, you know, Garland or the FBI, like somebody in his close circle. And I just read on it on Tuesday and I definitely felt like it was a woman. You're feeling three? Yeah. Um, but I definitely felt like a strong woman that was close to him. And it kind of had me wondering, I mean, a lot of us have seen Ivanka taking her, her, her dad down and I don't know if it was her or somebody else close to him. I think it was somebody else around mm -hmm. and i think three people independently contacted either the doj or the fbi but yeah. uh, but two of those were women yeah I was you know, definitely women. we all kept predicting that the women would bring them down mm -hmm. and here we go yeah <laughs> and now marjorie taylor green oh my god <laughs> she's on a rant i see her going too they was, all are and they're getting crazy and i actually feel like um more crazy like, I feel like Bannon, like threatening violence against, uh, you know, Garland and the DOJ and all of that. I think he's going to get in trouble for it. I see quite a few of them getting in a lot of trouble for like uh, inciting violence. Bannon is going to go to jail. Yeah. And did you hear the latest that Trump is now soliciting donations? No, of course uh, he is. Was to help defend him against this <laughs> raid, this illegal raid, as he says. Well, he's going to pocket that money. He did that with other stuff. And, you know, they're still investigating that. And right. so I, I see fraud charges coming as well. Yeah, he I've always felt that, too. Pocketed. And, you know, it didn't surprise me when he blamed the, the left wingers and it's, it's third world. You know, his base is his base. And maybe it mm -hmm. energized them. But it's making other people look and say, wait a minute here. And so it it's just ridiculous, you know. And it and it, yeah. it, he wants to create the chaos. He wants to get this country at odds, people at odds with each other, because then he thinks that helps to cement his power. That's how dictators come to power. Right. It's not gonna work. You know, um, when the, the news broke about this, um, my guides actually showed me like a, like a vision a little bit. And I saw Trump actually being handcuffed with his hands behind his back and led into a black SUV. I feel like that isn't too far out there in the future. And I also feel like this is really, I, I feel he's going to announce that he's going to run here very soon. Well, he can announce it, but, you know, he'll try to weaponize that too. Yeah, we'll see him running. Um, I, I think it's more of like like a show. But when actually it comes close to the primaries, I don't I don't see him in the picture anymore. It is a show. Yeah. Um, you know, we saw we saw him in handcuffs. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got that so strongly when I saw that. Um, and I've always I've been saying for a long time, I feel like August and e September feels like it's even worse than what it is right now. I feel like we're just at the beginning. Like it's just going to continue to ramp up and um, it's going to be breaking news after breaking news. My light bulb just went on. Yeah. When I have Linda does the side take, my light <laughs> bulb goes on, you light up. Um, wow. Okay. My guides just show me that there's going to be even more warrants, uh, uh, mm -hmm. more documents, but in Ooh. New York as well. In New York, yeah. I think they definitely got a lot. And I think that um, when they went to Mar-a-Lago, I, I think that they took some things not even 
with uh, the classified stuff. They got other documents and stuff there. And too. I also see cell phones being taken. Mm. So Donald's or somebody's. <laughs> uh, yeah. Even if they tried to leak that stuff, they could still find they're going to be looking for messages from the Secret Service. Mm. And I feel like I feel like he uses a lot of burner phones, though. He like gets rid of them really quickly. When he probably you're right, but but this had nothing to do with January 6th. This was this had because for a long time my guys were showing me Merrick Garland whispering behind closed doors and they were creating yeah. stuff. But those documents had nothing to do with January the 6th. It had to do with Russia. Yeah. I got Russia really clearly. I mean, and he is investigating behind the scenes for January 6th. I feel like it's going to be like, you know, multiple things coming up very quickly. For it him. is. It's going to be coming from all directions. And then in mm -hmm. New York on that civil case, that's a civil law oh. criminal. He pled the Fifth Amendment. Oh, yeah. I don't think you can plead the fifth on a civil lawsuit because they've already I, got the documentation there to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> because it's not. Yeah, I don't see that being successful for him. I've always felt, um, you know, like the DOJ going after him and getting in a lot of trouble from that. But also, I feel like the civil case in New York and even the, um, the other case in New York isn't over. I, I was just hearing about that. They're still investigating that. But I felt like he was going to lose everything. Um, well, Mar-a-Lago, all of his properties, his his whole legacy is going to crumble. Like he's going to lose everything. You're right about everything. that. But his in New York, that is that the Attorney General, the the guy that dropped it, said we we can't really. He, whoever it was, it wasn't the civil stuff. It was the other guy. Yeah, Bragg. Vance's he took Vance's place or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think know. Alvin Bragg. But I just heard on the news that they just made an announcement that that case they're still investigating it. But they're not, they're not dropping it. So but Alvin Bragg is going to be gone too. Yeah. And they're going to show that there was some collusion going on there. Don't kid yourself. Yeah, I think that there was, uh, you know, definitely some bribes there. And I feel like they might have even had something on him to kind of get him to delay things and, and slow them down. So I see criminal charges filed against him in New York and also in Georgia. Mm hmm. And Lindsey Graham, too. Now Lindsey Graham's saying, oh, they should kick gay marriages back to the states. Okay, Lindsey. <laughs> but they do that, they should kick heterosexual marriages back to the states. Right. Because at some and if that and if they pull that one, and if the Supreme Court says that at some point, there's gonna be more justices on the court because I mm -hmm. see two justices off this court, Kavanaugh being one. Mm. And then all they have to do is file a lawsuit to say it's discriminatory against gay people why do they have to kick their marriages back to the states but but straight people don't you'll see what i'm talking about mm -hmm. so i definitely see like the supreme court being you know crazy i mean they're already being crazy but yeah. even crazier and like you know even with them talking about like banning birth control and and that kind of stuff but i i do feel like all this crazy talk after midterms that um i i feel more justice is coming in there and I've always felt Clarence Thomas being replaced, and I think I, th I feel like three for Biden's first term will be replaced. Well, Clarence Thomas needs to recuse himself because if they if yeah. they start talking about gay marriage and contraception rights, he's already made up his mind based on the comments right. he's already made about it. So he's going to be in hot water, and so will his wife. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, there's a lot more coming out with the January sixth stuff. I think when they reconvene. I, I think that they've kind of made their case against Trump, not to say that they're not going to continue to talk about him, but I really see them going after, you know, people that funded this and got, you know, all the, the congressional people that were involved in it and really starting to go after those people too. I think they're going to come back, I, I think, either later on this month or in September. Cockroaches can't run back in the work. <laughs> Right. All right. Marie Clancy. Hello, Marie Clancy from Ireland. Excuse my Irish accent. <laughs> um, hi from Ireland. Hi from Chicago. <laughs> hi from, hey from Cleveland. From Cleveland. She says there's talk going around that Trump uh, to visit Ireland in the next few weeks. He has a golf course in a hotel in mm. Dunberg County, Clare. Hope he doesn't want to stay. Mm. Well, you know, if he goes to visit his golf course in County Clare, he's going to be met with a lot of Irish protesters. Mm. 
the temper of the Irish. I'm part Irish. I can say that. Yeah, me too. And they ain't pretty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and some people said are saying, well, um, it's his way to escape. You know, he's got supporters in the Secret Service, but he can't escape. I mean, right. all they have to do is invalidate his passport. And you know what? They, so let's say he's in Ireland. What's he going to escape to? If the if the if United States, you know, t- says he's got to turn in his passport, mm-hmm. Ireland, the, the the Prime Minister of Ireland is not going to let him stay here, stay in Ireland. They're going to go, Donald. You got to go back. So that's what I'm picking up. Yeah, and I don't know. I feel like he might. There might be talks about it, but I don't know with everything going on if he's going to actually go. I'm kind of feeling like he won't. Well, Karen um, here says I think they pretty much hate him there. He just um, drove yeah. the area where he built his golf course. They probably would send them back, albeit COD, she says. <laughs> Did you see that, um, this is a little bit off topic, but kind of going with this, uh, with him being so stressed out. Um, did you see his one um, interview for his golf tournament? He looked so, he looked so ill. And I just feel like all this stress from all of these legal issues and them just mounting up, I see all that stress really, really affecting his health really badly. He is pooping in his pampers. Yes. <laughs> because when Donald Trump gets angry, when he gets caught doing something and he starts to blame others and go into the rant, mm-hmm. then you know that he's fearful or nervous about. Right. <laughs> and I think all these Republicans jumping on the Trump train in his defense, it's going to backfire explosively very, very soon. Especially with Kevin McCarthy. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's going to backfire. <laughs> All right. Heather says, great combo. Thanks, Heather. Thank please, you. please, please tell me the orange snake. Geez, I wonder who she's talking about. <laughs> I didn't know snakes came in orange. Um, Trump was mad when they opened his safe. They opened my safe. Yeah, because they got your orange hair dye. <laughs> okay. Please, please, please tell me the orange snake will not slither off of under the latest messes. I have been fantasy skating very happily this week. I don't want to mm. crash and burn or injure myself. Well, Heather, you're not going to get injured because this is just the beginning. You ain't seen yeah. it yet. So. Yep, I agree. And uh, you know what? And I've never personally felt prison for Trump in the long run. And I think that that might have to do with his health, too. Um, um, I've always kind of felt like, a, like some kind of facility, medical facility. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, it's it's just the beginning. It's going to continue to ramp up. I don't see a long life for him. So no, I don't either. I, I've been saying for a long time, he's got to watch his health. Something with his head. I would say stroke, but he doesn't have a brain. So. <laughs> I've always felt like heart or and like brain too. Like, But I do feel like there is some kind of cognitive decline. Um, like maybe some kind of dementia or something like that. But also, I wouldn't be surprised if he had like a heart attack or a stroke. Now, here's, here's where we can agree to disagree because mm-hmm. I didn't know that earthworms had a cognitive decline. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, DL Jersey Shore writes, God, I feel like Rosanna, Rosanna Dan on Saturday Night Live. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> on Saturday Night Live, Gilda Radner used to do Roseanne, Roseanne, and Dana, and they would say, so-and-so writes, and they would ask her a question. Okay. She would come up with some <laughs> crazy stuff like, you know, I, Roseanne, Roseanne, and Dana. It's really good. It was classic. You got to watch it. Okay. DL Jersey Shore writes, <laughs> <laughs> hi, Mel and Kevin. I was wondering if 45 and the 12 GOP that went to dinner at his Bedminster golf course Tuesday night are plotting mm-hmm. something. Of course they are. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Doesn't take a psychic to figure that mm-hmm. one out, right? But and it was were- all of like the um the crazy Republicans like MTG and probably Gates and all of them. Yeah, they were plotting it and talking behind the scenes. Absolutely. Um <clears throat> You know, uh, I just got <laughs> Of course, they're plotting something. Mm-hmm. But my guys say it won't work. Mm. So. And I think a lot of them are actually a little bit nervous, too. I think a lot of the Republicans are nervous when they heard that, uh, 
you know, that they were going there to Mar-a-Lago and, and taking stuff, you know, probably didn't want any of their conversations or anything being taken as well. Okay, Jenny Brown asks, love watching both of you. Thanks, Jenny. My question is, will we ever know what was found from the infamous Mar-a-Lago raid? Mm. What will they, uh, will what they found finally bring 45 to justice? The answer to that is yes. But some of those documents were classified. Yeah, I don't see all the information coming out. Some. Well, they can't let some of it out because it was classified. But right. then somebody said you can't take classified documents, so Trump unclassified them. But mm. I think when they look at them, they're going to say, wait, these need to be classified again. Yeah, I think so, too. But if they can prove that he unclassified them to take them, that's a criminal act right there. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I think Biden would be able to, or anybody looking at that would be able to reclassify it if it was really highly sensitive. I feel it, it was it was very sensitive. And I think what they're doing right now is feeding things through backdoor channels to the Russians that's not true mm. <laughs> to kind of try to uh, repair the damage that Trump did when he gave Putin top secret information. Yeah. Because he could say if I, if he declassified those documents and it got in the hands of the Russians, well, it's it's not treason because they were declassified. But I, yeah, see, I, I don't see that. Linda, Linda Grindle had said treason a long time ago, mm. a couple of years ago, and this is treasonous what he's done. Yeah. The insurrection as well, but some of the stuff was treasonous. I mean, that's why they executed the Rosenbergs. They they supposedly were selling nuclear secrets to the Soviet Union back in the fifties. Mm. They were both executed. So I don't think Donald will be executed, but mm. it is treason pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, any thoughts on who the informer might be? We touched on that one. Okay. Uh, Marion Purnell says, uh, when do you see this political fiasco ending? Hopefully sometime soon. Well, I don't know if Donald Trump will ever shut his mouth until he's six feet under. But, yeah. But, you know, it's just that more and more people are going to be pulling away from him, except for his fascist ultra-right base. <laughs> and even when he's out of the picture, you'll probably have somebody like DeSantis court them too. But I feel like after midterms, yeah, you're going to still hear it from some of the crazies. But I, I think once we actually start getting a lot of things done with our majority in the house and senate um because I, I just feel like they're getting like they go to work after the midterms you know getting bill after bill after bill passed and a lot of really good positive changes um i i don't i think that they're going to become more and more irrelevant over time they're just they're just loud well it's the same with mccarthy back in the 50s you know there was he was always saying that everybody's a member of the communist party and this and that mm -hmm. joseph mccarthy and finally, you know, a lot of people, their careers were ruined and everything. Yeah. And it was really a dark time in America. But then ultimately, some people started standing up against him. But the people that were for McCarthy, that's they were for McCarthy for a very long time. But yet, when a lot of stuff, the truth started to come out against Joseph McCarthy, and it kept coming out, they backed off. Yeah. And now everybody knows what a, how, how horrible he was. And that's exactly what's going to happen here with Trump. Well, I keep saying I feel the Republican Party imploding and becoming like two parties. You and so that for a very long time. That's right. Yeah, I've been saying that and we're actually kind of witnessing it now. But I feel like definitely after midterms, I feel like all the losses, what they the Republicans blew like a perfect opportunity for them to retake the House. And um, I, I see them, a lot of them really deciding you know trump can't be the leader of our um of our party anymore and then breaking away but you'll still have a lot of the the crazies still following them so mccarthy like right party yeah liz cheney's gonna really be like a phoenix and 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 yeah with the I, I felt she's not gonna i think her uh primaries next week I, I don't think she's gonna win it but i see something better for her and i actually think um it could even be like maybe an ambassadorship for biden or something in his cabinet, something like that. But I do think that she will be part of the the rebuilding and rebranding of the Republican Party. 
And I actually, you know, I, I'm not a Republican in the least, but I think probably in a decade's time, they'll actually, there will be a lot of bipartisanship between the parties and uh, they'll be a much better party. I don't know if she'd have a post in Biden's cabinet, but like I, an ambassadorship or something like I that. She's not a cabinet the, position, but something in his. But I think she's going to run uh, as an independent Republican and she can get some of those old mm. Republicans that don't like Trump on her side. Yeah. Uh, we shall see. Yep. But she's not done. When they no. when they mess with her, when when McCarthy messed with her, he awakened a sleeping giant. He didn't he didn't know <laughs> what he was dealing with. Uh, I don't like her politics. I don't agree with her politics. But at yeah, least she was honest, and at least she cared about America, which is yeah. more than Trump. Trump doesn't care about America. So he has the like, courage to stand up for what was right, and uh, and because because this is such a clear and, and present danger to our democracy. So. All right. Those people that follow Trump right now, those nine that had dinner with them and Lindsey Graham and all those people, they yeah. don't care about democracy. Yeah. They just care about holding on to power. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweetie, darling, Lulu. I love that. Sweetie, <laughs> darling, Lulu. Uh, Mel and Kevin. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. My question is, what will happen to a daughter and a mother that were arrested in Nebraska for helping a daughter to get an abortion? Well, my guys tell me they're going to try to make an example out of them. Mm. But ultimately, if it got up to the higher courts, they would strike it down. So it's going to be a huge legal battle. But there's going to be a lot of people protesting and mm. out against them arresting those uh, arresting yeah. uh, that uh, mother and daughter. Where was this at? Nebraska? Because I haven't heard of this. Um, for, for me, I think names help me connect a little bit better, but I do feel like they'll try to, like you were saying, like try to make an example for them. But I, I, I think they'll be okay. It, it will be a long fight, though. Right. Okay, April Allen, will Michigan codify abortion rights this November? Yes. 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 Huge yes. Is it on the ballot or is it looking like it's something that they want to vote for, like for their state? That I don't know, but I see them being, I see them codifying it for that state. Yeah. Okay. Classified, classified. I love that. <laughs> uh, hi, Mel and Kevin. I love watching your shows. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, my question is if Victor Orb Orban from Hungary will be a problem for the U.S. now that the Republicans are embracing him. Um, will he be a I problem for the U.S.? Well, because he's the prime minister of Hungary, but I see him out of power. Mm. you know it seems like there's a rise in all these fascist people all over the country I, talked yeah. to, I had a reading today from somebody in peru and she said the president down there is really fascist and he's causing problems and even in mm. ecuador now it's just getting crazy yeah it's happening everywhere but but they won't win i mean it, they, they might look like they win the battle but they won't win the war but mm. i ultimately see orban gone um so I don't see him really being able to cause a bunch of problems here. I think he might like the attention. He might try to cause problems what's in the European Union, but he won't succeed. Mm, yeah. Um, Let's throw in a couple cards. See if I, I see for him a sudden shot from bad news, and I pull a five of hearts. Mm. Uh, and I'm seeing there's a lot of stuff coming out about him. Legal stuff, and it has to do with money. Correct. So it's exposure of his secrets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he's in despair over it too. So I think it's going to be all right. I see some heart problems for him. He's he better watch his health because I'm not. Heart? Yes, I'm seeing something with his health, and I don't see a long life for him. He might try to cause some problems. I have Biden and Kamala in my cards with the um, two of swords, which can be like feeling kind of stuck or feeling like you're at a crossroads. So maybe that relationship not being good, but ultimately I think he's going to be in, in trouble. Information coming out about money and overindulgence and he's going to end up losing it all. How can anybody like embrace a fascist like that? Yeah. Some Republicans are, but not all are. So, yeah. all right. Uh, NH Mountain Dancer. Will FBI protection be granted to the judge and his family in the search warrant case? And 
as an aside, will GLP be held responsible for inciting violence? I'm going yeah. to know on the second question, but that I would ask. Well, they can't hold the GLP, the whole party responsible. Not the whole party, but a few individuals. Like but Bannon, I think, is definitely going to get in trouble. A few individuals, yes. Um, I don't think the FBI protects the judge. I, I don't know who they, I don't know who they would appoint to protect the judge and his family. Mm -hmm. But I do see them being protected. The answer to yeah, that. Yeah, I think they'll be they'll be safe. But we're gonna see with um with that, him riling up his base and all of that, and I think we're already starting to see it. You know, I, I'm feeling some kind of like I'm feeling more protests. I don't feel anything like January six happening again. But I feel like they might go back to like the state houses and protests and and riot a little bit. But I think there might be a couple violent incidences, um, but I, I think a lot of them will be will be caught beforehand. So. Well, the FBI killed a guy today because he was threatening to take guns or a nail gun or something. It was in the Cincinnati FBI. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. Uh, oh, they he, killed him? He the January 6th protest. So I think mm -hmm. we'll see more of things like that, but not like January the 6th. Yeah, I don't see that again, but we're going to definitely see a lot of like violent protests. Okay, Valcor 812. Was there more to Ivana's fall? No, there wasn't. Yeah, I don't feel foul play at all. Was Trump trying to get something from her? No. Mm -mm. I think that it was natural causes, actually. Mm -hmm. I think she had a stroke and then feels what I think. That's what I was feeling. Okay. Um, Christine? You, uh, Mel, you and Kevin have a great flow in your sessions. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Scott Perry's phone was confiscated. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I didn't hear about that. I love it. I didn't either. For his association to John Eastman, Jeffrey Clark organizing mm. the January 6th event. Uh, can we expect to see other officials similarly implicated? Search and seizure of phone files. Yes. Yes and yes. It's like just the beginning. And they got a lot of stuff from Eastman's phone. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> He ain't seen anything yet. No. Okay. Hawaii Bound says, just asking for prayers for my son, Ryan. He joined the Navy, and today is his first day in boot camp. Mm. Ooh, hell month, right? I think it's... <laughs> uh, you know, everybody sent energy to Ryan. You know, I think the first couple of weeks in boot camp, people were like, oh, my God, what did I do? <laughs> right. But... Um, He'll do very well with it, actually. He's going to have a little shoulder injury, but he'll be okay. Uh, so everybody, well, thank you, Ryan, for serving. That's yes. All right. Definitely sending a lot of uh, energy to him and energy to keep him protected and watched over. Hascape, Hascape, Hascape. Okay. Hi, Mel and Kevin. Oh, I, I, I got 16,000 subscribers, so everybody's coming. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. I'm going to announce the winners. I give three free half hour sessions. I'm going to announce winners on Monday. And when I get to 17,000, I'll give away another three free half hour sessions. Mm. It's hard to say, like three free. <laughs> Tie twice right. for free tree twigs. That's hard to say, too. Okay. Uh, congratulations on reaching the milestone. Kevin, your channel is going to grow really quickly, too. My guides tell me. So, no, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm feeling something. I feel the 5,000 coming here soon. We'll have to have like a live party with guests and just hang out and, and do something. So well, have, I, have, I have a 5,000 5, party. Five, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Double vodka and tonic towel with the twist. What's the twist for my supper? I need the roughage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a vodka soda, just a tiny splash of cranberry. There you go. It's my you gotta have a fresh lime with it. All right. All right, Hascape or whatever. My question is about climate change. Globally, there has been record-breaking temperatures and even temperate climates, that's true, in Europe as well as the Middle East and in Asia. The River Rhine in Germany is facing issues with shipping because its banks have shrunk due to the drought that may affect coal and oil, that is true. Will this catastrophic weather finally wake up the politicians in the global north to embrace strategies like Green New Deals, or will there be more climate breakdowns before they wake up? There's more climate breakdowns coming. Mm -hmm. um, but at least we got a climate passage, uh, bill passed here. So 
it, it it's a start. I, I feel it really growing and um, a lot more resources poured into that. But I feel like we're not going to have a choice because I feel like a lot of hurricanes and flooding, um, just like a lot of natural disasters for a while. And it, so it's... And then a we, couple of We have to do a lot of changes. Yes, I feel volcanic earthquakes. That's going to put like steam and soot and all that the atmosphere so mm. that doesn't help any um yeah i knew that the rhine was at its lowest um and that's going to affect travel too because there's a lot of river tours that go up the rhine mm. um you know uh we'll look at lake mead it's at a, it's at a lower level than when it was first built almost mm. uh so you know there's more catastrophic weather coming more look at eastern kentucky everybody please send healing energy to the people in eastern kentucky that lost their properties and all of that we're going to see a lot more flooding a lot more droughts a lot more floods um yeah. you know europe was having an unheard of heat wave you know it got to be 90 in london which has never gotten before usually in, in great britain in the summer it might be 60 degrees maybe hot for them is 70. Even right. in they don't have air conditioning in their homes. It was 90 degrees. Wow. Uh, there was a lot of fires too, I think, wasn't there? In like Portugal and Spain. Croatia was 100 one day. Yeah. So, and then, then they're arresting people in Greece for flicking cigarettes out the window because it's so dry and people do that and it, mm. causes, it causes forest fires. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're not going to have a, a choice. We'll see a lot more fires anymore. like that too, Kevin. Yeah. We're not going to have a choice to ignore it anymore, and I, I really see us next like year or two like really, really ramping it up. Okay, Jenny W. said, the Pope mentioned while in Canada he is considering stepping down. I did not hear that. I, I really like this Pope. Yeah. Catholics announced that they don't agree with the church's policy on abortions. Is the church beginning to implode? I don't see it imploding, but it's going to have to change some of its archaic um, and dogmatic attitudes and beliefs. Like, mm. let priests get married, let women be priests, you know, let gay people get married. Um, yeah. But I keep seeing another Pope coming. Yeah, and I feel like it's not too far out there, too. Who's going to be a Pope that wasn't like pope john or pope paul i forget i don't know who pulled the second vatican council together they thought he'd be a do-nothing pope mm. and he reformed the church and i see a third vatican council in our lifetime being pulled together uh that will help to reform the church so it catches up to the times yeah uh so that's so the question was is he going to step down here soon I don't think he's going to step down soon. I don't know why he made that comment, but uh, I really like this Pope. But I, I don't think I don't think it's too far off, though. It might not be like this year or next, but maybe the following. But I, I also feel like some concerns about his health, too. Uh, hold on. Let me see something. Is Ratzenberger still alive? He was the Pope before Benedict. He was the Pope before this one. I'm not really all familiar with uh, with all of that. So. I think he is. Let me just check something. Pope the call together the second mm -hmm. Vatican. That was in 1962, I think. Mm -hmm. Because before that, all the masses were said in Latin. And the priest wouldn't face the congregation for certain things. And then he said that the masses should be done in the local languages of people. It was... Uh, the Second Vatican Council was the 21st Supreme Council of the Catholic Church. It was convened by uh, John the 23rd, and it lasted for, for four sessions from 1962 for four years to 1960, no, uh, three years until 1965. Now he's a saint, Saint John, the Saint. it was Pope John, Saint Pope John. <laughs> the 23rd so i see another pope oh it's pope john and pope paul pope paul i think it says here mm. which two popes led the second vatican council pope john the 22nd but pope paul and i think one of them they thought the little pope wouldn't do anything and he did and i think that was pope paul so i see a pope coming in that's going to even call another second vatican council mm. um doing some reforms and stuff like that. Correct, correct. Yeah. 
Uh, it's going to be huge, actually. <laughs> so that's what I see. All right. All righty. I guess we answered that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Barbara B. Mel and Kevin, I enjoy both of your channels. Thank you. Thank you. Thumbs up to Kevin's channel, everybody. <laughs> All right. Subscribe to Kevin's channel. Why does Mike Pence continue to defend Trump? He seems more outraged about the raid on Mar-a-Lago than he was about people wanting to harm it on January 6th. Trump's base does not support Pence and they see him as a traitor. So what is his loyalty really about? I think it's loyalty to the party, but he doesn't. He wants to run for president. He's not going to win. He's He doesn't have the, the character to win. He's very vanilla. Um, very boring i mean by that um but yeah he's just trying to to try to win them back over but it's it's not going to work he's very anti-gay yes um so what do you think is going to happen to the satan in florida kevin well i've been saying i feel um i feel him i i felt like the matt gates thing like he's wrapped up in that and getting kind of um sucked into that i do feel like he might try to replace trump as you know the fascist part of the the republican party but um but yeah i don't see him being successful with that either i don't either okay chris bacon not crisp bacon but chris bacon. <laughs> what will happen with the price of propane last year late summer propane costs doubled long before increase in price of gasoline i was spending 500 a month to heat my home to 60 degrees what was behind the price like well i think supply chain shortage and price gouging that's what my guy I'm, I'm feeling price gouging too especially okay vera stuart lutz but in german it's lutz okay uh, congratulations now your expanding community as well as there and kevin's is expanding too good uh Will the Phoenix metropolitan area have any major power outages this year? The answer to that is yes. And so will Texas. I feel Texas, definitely. I've been feeling that. Daniel Reschke, uh, congrats, Mel. You and Kevin work so well together in your videos. Uh, do you see the tangerine trader? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I'm going to use that. The tangerine, but that's an insult to a tangerine. <laughs> Um, I like earthworm better. <laughs> <laughs> Insult to an earthworm. Uh, do you see the do you see the tangerine traitor and his ilk getting indicted by Halloween? I feel I feel indictments coming very soon. I feel like that might even be the huge thing I'm feeling in September. I feel like it's very soon. Okay, June Shock says, please include me in the drawings. June, I tell this to everybody, okay? You have to ask a question either or make a comment in the comment section or ask a question on the community board to get your name included. So for the drawings. Okay. Claudette Robinson, this is really good. Hi, Mel and Kevin. How are the anti-vaxxers who died from COVID? Do they have regrets? Well, I guess it's too late to have regrets now. If there's any yeah. message from Mel, it's like get vaccinated. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I, it's just, you know, it's, yeah. I'm sorry, Mel. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, um, yeah, there's always regrets. I feel like once we transition, but I feel like a lot of them and even a lot in like the Trump cult, you know, it, it's brainwashing. And then I feel like that takes a lot of healing on the other side to get through that. And um, so it, it's actually really kind of sad. Um you know what that does to the soul but yeah they are regretful once they get through part of their that healing process well and i also think they're understanding now from the other side mm -hmm. how dangerous that that yeah. non-conspiracy stuff can be mm -hmm. uh, and and it, on some level even karmically the people that started that whole anti-vaxxer QAnon stuff about it's going to rewire your dna and it's this and it's that those people have a huge karmic retribution. Mm -hmm. And the ones behind it, when they die, they're not going to go right to the light. They're going to stay stuck mm -hmm. because they're going to have to work on creating the wrongs that they created and the lives that their lives 
that and the lives that their lies took. So all that damage that they correct that they did correct. So you know, um, it's just tragic. But uh, the ones who died from uh, COVID that wouldn't take the vaccine, you know, they're genuinely sorry that 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 they listened to all the lies and the misinformation. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I pick up. Okay. Betsy Warren. My aunt has advanced dementia and is quickly declining. She recently spoke about seeing a man who she said was her husband who kept telling her to come with him, which she refused to do. She told us the name of this husband, which was not the name of her husband. Okay. Um, so basically what she's asking, who is this? I don't think that's a spirit. A lot of times people who have dementia, they hallucinate. And they think they're seeing somebody there that's not there. And I think with hers, it was more a function of a hallucination than an actual spirit visitation. That's what I'm picking up on anyway. Yeah, but I, I, I think as I think with like the dementia and stuff, like it's almost like part of them's already kind of transitioned on the other side. Um, but as they real as she declines and all of that, um, it, I think it's very normal to see spirits, but. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry for what you're going through. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's tough. Okay. Tina Eden, this is a good question. Mel and Kevin, do you see the world's population declining more than one would expect in the next decade? I don't know if it's within the next decade. And I'm not so worried so much worried about nuclear annihilation, even though that bothers me. But they've got to stop, you know, stripping these jungles and rainforests because they're mm -hmm. gonna let a virus out not a bacteria, but a virus that at some point is going to do to humankind what the great plagues did to Europe in the Middle Ages. And it's not going to be pretty. I mean, it would be a virus that make Ebola look like a gentle wind. Mm. I mean, to, you know, the great plagues killed off, what was it, half or three quarters of the European population? Yeah. I mean, it's huge. And, and you know what? There's something that at some point that's going to get loose, not from a laboratory, but that's been isolated for thousands of years in a jungle somewhere that's that's going to unleash if we don't stop. And it's going to play havoc. <laughs> so that's what is the question? Are, are we going to go through like a depopulization? Over the next decade. I don't know if it's over the next decade. Yeah, I don't feel it in the next decade. But it will happen. The answer is yes. Yeah. Unless we stop doing what we're doing to the planet. I think I think uh, COVID was a warning to us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it All definitely right. was. Karen Edinger or Edinger. Some readers have hinted that 45 can, has connections to the Russian mob. What do you guys say about that? Well, I say all of Russia, Putin, and all of his cronies are a mob. <laughs> yeah. So I say the answer to that is yeah, because they had connections yeah. to Putin. <laughs> All right. Gladys uh, Bull, Bull Taylor. Um, Kevin, I hope your mother in law is doing well. How is she doing, Kevin? Um, she's doing better. It's going to be a, a long recovery, but she's doing better. Okay. Yeah, she was on a ventilator earlier this, this week. And uh, she's off of that now and they finally got her all closed up so it'll it will be a, a a while for her to mend but she's doing a lot better and thanks everybody for all the prayers and all the um was know, she all the does she have an infection yeah she does have a high infection it's starting to get um neutralized now so, so they put her on a ventilator they wanted to keep her um, ventilated mm -hmm. and oxygenated and help her kidneys that's what i pick up okay i hope you're on the last time though I read an article on some of the flushed papers. You could see a name on the papers. Do you see this person being called to testify? I don't know whose name was on there, but yeah, I don't know. I just I don't know. I'm not really feeling the, that question. Like, I, I don't know about the name and all that. Okay, I, I think so too. Um, Lucy Tomasi or Luci Tomasi. 
Uh, I heard on YouTube that Trump has a secret hiding place where he keeps documents and videos, other things hiding somewhere. Maybe possible mar lago or somewhere else. He he doesn't he doesn't want anybody to see it. Can you try to read on this? I'm sure he's got stuff stashed everywhere, but it's going to come back yeah. to him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know if I feel like there's just one specific spot where he has everything hidden. I don't know if I feel about that, but I feel like it's kind of you know in multiple spots. But I, I feel like they got a lot of stuff, even like I said, um, more than just the the Russia connection and and all that classified stuff. They got other stuff too. Okay, we got time for just a few more. How's that? Yep. All right, Sylvia Hanks. Will we get a stimulus check before the primary? Thank you both for all you do in the community to keep us calm. I keep seeing a stimulus check coming before the midterms or some kind of help. I, I, I feel help coming. I don't know if it's, I feel like it might be just a little bit after, like maybe when they reconvene. Um, timing's always a little bit hard, but I feel money coming out. Okay. Maggie who? I like that, Maggie who? <laughs> Who's Maggie? Maggie, who? <laughs> Bad joke. I'm 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 slap happy today. I'm in a crazy mood. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe something. You're fine. This, this is not whiskey. It's ginger ale. Okay? <laughs> I ran on orange Fanta. It's ginger ale. Wonder what Gary put in that. Whatever it is, I'll have more. <laughs> All right, Maggie, who wants to know? Oh, whoa. Speaking of Lucky, thank you, Lucky. <laughs> she very rarely barks, my dog. Mm. Um, I didn't hear it through here, so. I did. Uh, now, I was wondering about the Wisconsin Senate race between Ron Johnson. Ooh. He's out. Yay. Uh, and the other guy, the um, I think it's Barnes. I, I see him winning. Okay, yeah, that's what they're asking. Yeah. Uh, plus, this is a good one, though. Will Ron Johnson face any justice for his partly insurrection or his Russian connections? I feel the Russian connection, yes. And the insurrection stuff, too. You know, there were, oh, my light bulb went off again. Yeah. And those secret documents, there were names of certain people like that in the Senate, mm. like that, that had some connections with Russia. Oh, so, yeah. I, I felt that a lot. For a while. Maybe that's why I was feeling a lot of them being nervous too. A lot of the, you know, the people that the other Republicans around Trump. Okay. ET phone home. I like this ET phone home. P H O N H O M. ET phone home. I like that. Will Newt Gingrich be pushed out of politics with the rest of the nuts? <laughs> this is the question. He was the one who started the cuckoo movement. Mm. I see him. Being, is he even in politics right now? I don't feel like he is. I don't know what he's doing, but I really see him push out of politics. Absolutely. And then, and a lot of the other nuts too. Yeah. And a lot of the people in the cuckoo movement. I like that. That's what, oh, you know what? ET phone home. We're going to use that. The cuckoo movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't see him uh, taking office again. I don't think he's in office right now. Okay. Uh. Hold on a minute. Okay. I'm not going to answer that one because it was a murder case. And I don't, I don't do murder cases unless I'm called in by the family. Yeah. The okay. Oh, I look about 10 years younger from before I took my trip. Oh, I better take another trip. Mm. That's what it says here. Frida, Frida, <laughs> Frida. Thanks, Frida. Um. Was it the holiday or can you get in the secret? Well, you just got to jump in the Adriatic, I guess. Okay. Well, and you said that you lost a little bit of weight too before your trip too. I'm sorry? Didn't you lose a little bit of weight before your trip? I lost yeah. about 10 pounds. And then I gained about three. And <laughs> for the last two days, I've been eating like crazy. But uh, I'm, I started, I'm going to start my diet again tomorrow because I want to lose another 10 pounds. So anyway, I did the Mediterranean, my own version. And just lots of salads, which I like. And it was great. Yeah. Okay, Water Lily. Hello, Mel and Kevin. Will Garland get the search warrant and property receipt unsealed? Yeah. Yes, I see that. Okay. Um, John Henry Bork. 
We really enjoy watching your respective shows from Ireland. Yay, hi, Ireland. Was wondering, given this week's event there, what will be the reaction of DJT's, Donald J. Trump's banks, that he deals with? And was there any or many people wearing a wire beside or near him? Ooh, that's a great question. So what's the question about his banks? Um, of what will be the reaction of Donald J. Trump's banks that he deals with? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that they're nervous because there's stuff in there that is incriminating how there was some loans. Yeah, they gave I feel like loan, a lot of loan issues Trump? with the banks. Yeah. I don't know about the wires, though. You know what? My light bulb went on. It's in those papers about something that loans that Russian banks are, mm -hmm. as Linda calls it, douche bank. Douche bank, yeah, Deutsche Bank. That where Donald Trump got money, but it wasn't legal. Yeah. Something like that. That's what, wow. Um, I don't know if anybody wore a wire beside him, but I'm not ruling that out for the future. And he's paranoid of it. He is, he is, he's, he, he feels like he's so alone. Like he doesn't know who he can trust. He's, he's really freaking out. Well, there's going to be more people around him that are going to come forward and go oh, to the yeah. like a lot more. Yeah. When, I mean, it starts to get really juicy and, and big. I mean, they're not going to want to be implicated in this. Uh, okay. Kimberly Austin. Uh, Love you and Kevin, congratulations. Thanks, Kimberly. My question is, every time Republicans in politics are given an off-ramp to separate from the Donald, they do the opposite and cling more to him. Why? Well, some some do, but some don't. Yeah. But I just think that you're right, Kevin. They don't, they, they don't want to face his wrath and they want to hold on to power. And they don't have the courage to stand up to Trump or his voters. Well, they're, and, they're playing to Trump's base is what it is. And they're thinking that they can get Trump's base to vote for them. So that's why. Right. Well, right. Absolutely. Because without Trump's base, they're not going to win elections. I mean, I, I think um, out of everybody that voted to impeach him, that chose not to, that chose to run for re-election, I think only one or two of them got re-elected. And I mean, I think it was like 10 of them that, that did that. So, I mean, the majority of them aren't winning elections. Okay, one more. Here we go. All right. Hi, Mel and Kevin. Most people are now waiting a couple of years until all homes fall sharply in price. That's smart because they will. Will this happen? Yes. <laughs> you feel a really sharp drop? I do. I, I definitely feel a drop. I don't know if I agree and feel like a really I sharp call it drop. A crash, but the real estate people say a correction. Okay. okay. All right. A lot more uh, short sales and foreclosure coming on the market mm -hmm. in about a year and a half. No one can afford today's real estate prices, still even with a small drop in price in the last three months. Well, this proved to be the best buyer's market in, the, in, in history in two years. I see the prices coming down. I see them coming down. I, I'm not feeling a crash or not right now anyway, but um, I definitely see them coming down. It feels like it's, I, I would say, like a year and a half, two years out. But it's, like I said, timing's kind of hard. Maybe by 2024, them really starting to come down. They're already starting to, the market's not quite as hot as what it was um, with the interest rates hiked. Okay, we got time. These two, then we'll, then we'll stop. I can okay. go. We've answered a lot of questions. We have, yeah. We're doing a good job today. Catherine Benson, really enjoy you two guys. Will Kevin McCarthy win in November? I don't see it. I've read on it. I just read on it, I think, last week, and I do not see it. Okay. Laura Wright. Well, well, this is a good one, actually. Will the search at Mar-a-Lago affect the midterms? What do swing voters and independent voters think of all of this? And will it hurt the Dems? Will it hurt the Dems? Well, could, actually. With some people, it could. I, I think with independent voters, um, I feel like the majority of them are leaning Democrat right now, just because a lot of them, you know, a lot of them might not like Biden, but when Trump decides to jump in the picture and, you know, we start going after people's rights, I really see that as their focus. So I don't see it hurting um, Democrats. 
Well, I think one of the biggest things that's going to hurt the Republicans and Trump was right about this. As much as I hate to say anything he ever said has any merit, was mm. the whole overturning of Roe v. Wade. Even Mitch, oh, yeah. even Mitch McConnell complained about it, but he's the one that put those justices in place. Yep. So, And there's going to be so much stuff that comes out about the Republican Party and Trump before midterms. It's really going to sour Republicans. By McCarthy, by <laughs> Lindsey Graham, by Scalise, by get, Taylor Green, by you're going. I get with McCarthy. Um, you know how we had the tapes that came out and all of that. I feel like there's some more stuff coming out, and I feel like a lot of the Trumpsters really don't trust McCarthy, or they will feel they'll feel that way before midterms. Lynch McConnell can't stand Trump, but I'm, <laughs> we'll see what happens there too. Yeah. All right, Kevin, this has been wonderful. Yes, always oh, is. Contact Kevin, Kevin's Loving Vibrations to Row. Go to his YouTube channel. And Kevin, if they want to call you, what how can they get a hold of you on your with your phone? Um, my phone number is 440-376-4088. 440-376-4088. You can call or text if you're interested in a reading or I do Reiki energy healing. Or you can email me at kevinlovingvibrations at gmail.com. That's 440-376-4088. Yes. And tell us about your degrees of Reiki, Kevin. I'm on my second degree um, right now. So I uh, recently started doing the, the distant healing um, and doing a lot of remote healing. And, you know, I was a little skeptical about it at first, but I've I've just gotten such wonderful feedback since I've started doing that. Um, and then the goal is, I think, probably beginning of next year, spring of next year, I want to get that level three and I can take it with my master's class, too, and two separate ones. So I'm a Reiki master for years. I did it years mm -hmm. ago. I remember, I never learned all those symbols and stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The magic is not in the symbol, really. It's in the energy. It's in the intention. Exactly. All right, Kevin, thank you so much. If y'all want to get a hold of me, Mel at meldoor.com, M E L at M E L D O E R R.com, or call my office. Better to call my office because <laughs> I got a slew of emails 847 590 5411. Again, 847 590 5411. And I hope you'll come with us on the gorilla track. Yes, that'll be a fun time. Gorillas in my midst. <laughs> midst all right kevin thank you so so thank much. you my channel on this coming thursday sound good live live on your channel yep live um i we do it at 8 8 p.m eastern standard time so one of these yeah, days, looking kevin, forward to it one of these days kevin's going to teach me how to do stream yard so i can go on live with him on my channel but <laughs> when you're ready let me know all right you got it all right, all right. everybody stay well bye everyone Hang on. <laughs>